guys, Rivetad here. Expert, but Welcome back to another episode of Hogwarts more. Legacy. Appropriate. Looks like we're going to be getting now, into Hogwarts. I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Okay. <clears throat> Not gonna lie, I've always been curious about how I would be sorted. Doesn't look like a very my jealous black. Oh, really? Interesting. Prepare yourself to meet the headmaster. Fig. Nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were... complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig. And I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. Mm-hmm. I love <clears throat> pompous I'll be assholes. In touch. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. Okay, let's see how we get. <clears throat> I will do my best to answer these honestly if there's questions. I'm assuming that's how they're going to ah, do it. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. Hmm. Can we just start classes? I'm looking forward to meeting my professors and learning all I can at Hogwarts. Indeed. I did like school. Hogwarts has much to offer a dedicated student. And what you learn in class will prepare you for challenges outside the classroom as well. Hmm. You do not give up easily, do you? You are undaunted by challenges that lie ahead. And your loyalty to a friend delayed your arrival here this evening. Perhaps you belong in Hufflepuff. That's interesting. Hufflepuff? Sure. Why not? That can be Hufflepuff. <coughs> Better be Hufflepuff! Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. That's how they're going to take care of that. I was wondering. Enough. It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Quite an entrance. <clears throat> it's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you She's as well, very Professor. Pleasant. As deputy headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. She's really sweet. 
It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. Might be a bit of work, but I'm sure that's never stopped you before. It hasn't, Professor. <laughs> now, here we are at the entrance to the Hufflepuff <clears throat> Common Room. This is the entrance. Indeed. I will explain what to do, but I hesitate to do it myself as one errant knock leads to being doused in vinegar. Most unpleasant. You must tap the barrel, two from the bottom, middle of the second row, in the rhythm of Helga Hufflepuff. I have no clue how to do this. <clears throat> Well done. Now go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. That's really cool. Man, I'd love to have something like this in real. Ah, ah, if only. It wouldn't have to be just a, like a wizarding and Looks like witchery gone. school. That's just a school the in a place like that. They're great. I would love it. Okay. Let's see if there's things around here for me to interact with. Tea. Okay. Well, well that was great. I feel like I'm a hobbit. I got me an apple. Ooh, wow. Okay, this is cool. I heard somebody talking like me. Okay, got to introduce myself some peoples. Okay. Oh, hello. She's awfully regal, isn't she? Is that your owl? I don't know who she is. Likely one of the Hufflepuffs around here. <coughs> Owls choose their own company anyway. Wait, you're the new fifth year. Quite the dramatic entrance you made. Can't yeah, no imagine shit. wanting to call attention to yourself. Especially since everyone will be watching to see how much you already know. I am honest. a bit concerned. I have a lot of catching up to do. Indeed. Four years of schoolwork is a bit... Being that far behind, I'd feel so... inadequate. Of course, presumably, as a hard-working Hufflepuff, you'll prove yourself in no time. I'm hard-working too, as you might suspect. But sometimes yes. I think I should have been a Ravenclaw. I've rather a searing wit. <laughs> At least people have always told me so. I'm Lenora, by the way. Lenora Everly. Well, mustn't keep you. You've such a lot to do. She seems to be a little bit of a prick. It was nice meeting you, Don't Lenora. Don't want to talk to her anymore. Of course. Adieu. Okay. Interesting. Not what I expected for my first Hufflepuff encounter. Arthur's got you. She's still pleasant, but... Little cat. Uh, I can't... Quite reach. Uh, come on, you went that way. Hope they can catch him. Big castle for a student to get lost in, let alone a cat. <laughs> I'm sure you'll find your way all right. I mean, it can be a bit overwhelming at first. I still get lost sometimes. <laughs> Welcome to Hufflepuff, by the way. Really glad to have you in our house. I'm Arthur. Thank you. Nice wow. to meet you. Was that your cat? No, one of the first years, I think. Don't have any pets of my own, unfortunately. My mother doesn't think too highly of them, especially magical ones. I'm sorry to hear that. I think magical beasts are rather incredible. Best thing about coming to Hogwarts. <coughs> Nifflers, Glumbumbles, Bowtruckles. I thought they were only pictures in books before. Well, Dad did bring home a puff skein once. Mum was furious. <laughs> Anyway, I better wow. go make sure the first years caught that cat. Don't want them to be late on their first day. That voice acting leaves a little much to be desired for poor nice Arthur. Meeting you, Arthur. 
and good luck finding that cat. Thank you. Try not to get lost in the castle yourself. Yeah, they had a weird thing when you could choose your voice and you could change the pitch, and that was really weird. Oh, Uncle, this doesn't sound like you. Something's wrong. Oh, hello there. You're the new Hufflepuff, yes? I'm Adelaide. Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Is everything all right? Oh, yes. I'm just a bit distracted. Letter from my uncle. So tell me, I've been hearing all sorts of rumors. Were you really nearly gobbled up by a dragon? <clears throat> that one is true. Not the typical start to a new school. That's dreadful. Well, I'm glad you made it here alive. Well, anyway, I imagine you have lots to yeah, do. Yeah, unfortunately, I one of the guys in the cart with me didn't make it. Yeah, let's ask about the uncle. Are you sure <coughs> everything's all right with your uncle? Oh, yes. He travels for work, always busy. I'm sure he just wrote it in a rush. Um, nothing to worry about. Thank okay. you, Adelaide. Be seeing you. Of course. And good luck. Is the new Hufflepuff out of bed yet? Professor Weasley's waiting for them outside the common room. So, here we go. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary <coughs> wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. God. Ooh. Here you are. <coughs> What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Very cool. Thank you, Professor, but <clears throat> what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. Ooh, I like this. This way. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding lore. I certainly would have appreciated something like a field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Do keep up. I'm doing pretty good. I'm good at sealing apples. So. Simply cast Revelio on it, <clears throat> and we'll see what the guide says. Revelio. House Elf Recipe Book. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Open Field Guide. <laughs> One percent. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Clever, isn't it? Very. Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. Yeah, I have a feeling I'm going to be, um... Ah, good timing. P 
perfect opportunity to show you how to use blue flames to get around a bit quicker. Okay. Your field guide <clears throat> contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Okay, so we go here. Select the library annex to continue, okay. The central flue, okay. I'm just not paying attention. <coughs> I'm all flummoxed. Uh, still recovering over whatever it was I had. Not the fun. Saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. My has been so that should be all for now. You'll be expected <coughs> to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. Okay. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace Jesus. the supplies you lost on the way here. Okay. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, yeah. your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. Yeah, I gotta keep I'm that quiet. I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm. Almost precisely what Professor Fig said. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, <laughs> Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say <laughs> I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't <clears throat> get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Okay. There is a lot of dialogue. It's good to see you, Professor. <clears throat> and you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding our late arrival? Yeah. I did try to evade her questions, though I feel a little <clears throat> deceptive. That said, I'm fairly certain she suspects that we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster 
that would be better left between us. Oh, Understood, okay. Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. Okay. Main quest. Okay. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. <laughs> oh, I gathered that. Okay. So I have a, uh, a blob to follow on the map. Ooh, that's okay. Yeah, this is pretty neat. Unlock all the flues. <clears throat> when I spot them. See if there's anything over here. Revelio. Nope. My understanding is that that Revelio sp uh, uh, spell is exceptionally helpful. And I'll be utilizing it a lot and upgrading it apparently. Stupefy! Is that all you've got? Yeah. Oh, Professor Hecate! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. <laughs> I like her. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso. A levitation charm. Levioso. A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. I like this. Levioso. Levioso. Now, let's try something a little larger. <laughs> Not signaling me out at all or anything. Let us begin with a basic cast. See how the dummy deflected your cast? Yeah. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, Levioso good. Now, the basic. Well done. Cool. Very good. 
But the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelists, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. Okay. Levioso, Protego. Lucky. Nothing lucky about it. Good form. I know. This can't be your first duel. Let's just say I'm a quick learner. It looks like I pushed him off the edge. Poor kid. Not bad. I just fought a beginner. bunch of fucking you uh, give concrete as as you get. statues. <laughs> I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Hufflepuff. Ah, okay. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Grindelows. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. Thank you. That was fun. All right. That's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. If you know the right spells, it's That's Dark Wizards twin. that'll fear you, not the I'm other way around. Doppelganger. How dare I? You drooled Sebastian. He's strong competition. Well done. She doesn't even know who she's talking to. Okay. Revelio. Wait, what is this? <clears throat> Kaha. So you have to hear that noise. Interesting. Okay. Oh, this is going to be fun. I got it. Wait, I've got to go. Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way, didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. I've dueled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Huh, fair enough. <laughs> You owe me an honest jewel when you aren't. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Ooh. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club, or sneaking into the restricted section of the library. You just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. I will say Look skill. for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Okay. Cool. Till next time. Okay. Defense against the Dark Arts class. Okay. Um, level 2? Look at us. <clears throat> Got a new quest. So this is the Dueling Club, which I guess is a, another one. Um, so we have to attend the Charms class. we got a whole bunch of other stuff for our, our first day in Hogwarts. But I think that'll be enough for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. That was fun. I will see you all very soon in our next one. Take care, buddy. Bye-bye. This is a song for all the real